three. Push it. Nope. Oh, crap. Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome to Fruitless Journey with Tito. I'm your host and... Janae. Your other host. Uh, yes, we're playing <laughs> the Stanley Parable here on Color Circuit. Uh, we're excited to play this game. I've heard about it for a few years. I haven't had a chance to play it. And now seems like the perfect time... Uh, Check it out. What do you know about this game? I know that there's a Stanley and a parable. I know more than that. Ooh. I know that, uh, actually, I, I know that it takes place in an office, I believe. Like the office? Like the there's office. There's a Stanley in the office. Is it his parable? Oh, yeah, it is. It is, yeah. totally. Neat. And it's about him just, like, trying to get, like, a cup of coffee and, like, oh, boy, Jim's doing whatever the fuck. Uh, uh -huh. I, haven't, well, I haven't watched The Office in very long. The Office, <laughs> The Office is too awkward for me. It is. Like it makes my entire body like turn into goose flesh. <laughs> <laughs> I love that expression so much better than goosebumps. Yeah, like um, like um, instead of panties, saying undies, not undies. I forgot. They they taught me that. <laughs> instead on of saying panties, I say something I don't remember. Underpants. Underpants. Yeah. I like the way Jack Black says underpants. Okay. He's, He's like underpants. Well, one yeah. song. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, great. This is good. It's a good beginning. <laughs> this is, uh, this is uh, we're firing on all cylinders. Yeah. Are you ready to Stanley it up? Yeah, I guess. I'm going to let you take control, <laughs> so, even though I'm not the host. I don't know. That's fine. Uh, I, I need to watch you make an example of me. <laughs> I do not PC game a lot. I don't know what the, what the controls are for this. It looks like a mouse, because it's in an office. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to options. Let's go to keyboard and mouse. What does this say? Edit oh, keys. This is riveting. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Ooh, it's classic WASD keys. I can keys. do this. Oh. I can do this. This is classic WASD keys. Okay. How exciting. Cool. What? Forward, back, back. left, right. right. Ducking. Duck? We have to duck? I mean, maybe. Ooh, I'm scared now. Are you scared of ducking or ducks? I love ducks, hate ducking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then all game. this stuff. Yeah. So, this is like, I, I would almost, it's so simple, it's stupid. It's a stupid game. No, it's awesome. We're going to yeah, have a yeah, you know. I feel it. Okay. Who wants to start? Let's rush you... up. Yeah. I start. <laughs> Success. Okay. End is never the end. That is, is how end. you play a video game. Bam. You you play games in between the video game. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. love it. Like mini games, but yeah. like personal. Like games. for like the loading screens. We invent our own mini games. Yeah. <laughs> so it's loading now. That's cool. Is this part of the game? I end feel like is never the end. Is never, never the end. Oh, is, is never the oh, loading. Yeah. Okay. Don't. For, it's very important. Okay. So how are you? How aren't you? I'm great. I'm not, I'm not great. Uh, I'm fine. You know, if you, if you must. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee Look at that number 427's yeah. job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it so, Stanley relished every oh, moment. Oh, this might be terrible for the stream that has, like, has heavy narration. We and we can't hear it? Jesus. We'll, we'll figure it out. Look, Stanley he's in nowhere. Was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. 
Shot, yeah, frozen okay. solid, Stanley found himself okay, unable okay. to so move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, so... Oh! I wanna... Shit. I wanna see if I can pull up the subtitles. Got up out of my desk, stepped out of my office. Can you type in a bad word? Whoa! Uh, this is... Open this is... all the drawers and put it on I... the floor. <laughs> put what on the floor? The things in the drawers. That's the... what I do. I don't know how to, I don't know how to like open if I grab duck. Duck. Hurry and duck. <laughs> I wanna grab stuff. No, I can't. I'm not used to do you play PC games? All the time. I do not. Like I'm like I'm thrown by this. This is awful carpet. I agree. All of his co-workers were gone. Oh, you went the right way. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Go to the meeting room. It's right there. Okay. It's probably the meeting room. Look at the um the, the picture. The picture. I bet it has a secret in it. That looks like New Mexico. It or Utah. Or Nevada. It's in the Southwest for sure. Yeah, yeah. That ain't, ain't no like Florida nonsense. No, it's not. That doesn't look like a meeting room. Where is the freaking meeting room? I'm kind of insane. That's not a meeting room either. Four, 420. <laughs> Go to that <laughs> desk and, and light up a bong. Do you I do that? To... I don't know anything about drugs. I, I, I know everything about drugs. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can I tell you something? Yeah. Uh, when, I was, when I was younger, uh -huh. um, I remember like getting a notebook and like starting to write down like insults or something. <laughs> and one of the things I wrote down, and this is before it happened in Florida with the bath salts, I wrote down, I will hold you down and eat the skin off your face. What? Or, or, or something. And then like a week later, somebody did that in Florida and I felt weirdly proud. Like, you were in school when that happened? No, I was like still 25 or oh, something. Okay. I was like really confused about what place I have <laughs> in the universe. No, I wasn't in school past like, oh, I don't want to talk about that. That looks like a... Like a, like that looks like a meeting room. Kind of. Duck and get in the room. <laughs> yeah. How do we like? Enter. Is this how I enter a door? No. No. Uh, space bar. No, that's jump probably. Enter. Wiggle. <laughs> Click on it. I don't know. Stanley came to a oh, set of two okay. open doors. He entered the door on his left. Go to the left. What if I go to the right? You'll die. Don't do it. It'll it'll push you back. We're gonna, we're this wasting was not time. the correct way to the meeting room, and oh. Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Just yeah. To, that, yeah, let's admire the employee lounge. This is the biggest building I've ever seen in my life. It's like, it's like a real office. It is. It's like never ending. Can you touch those yellow boxes? I, 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 don't, I don't know. <sighs> yes, truly a room so worth bad. admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed. Just remember, yeah, like 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 this really, like, goes here, as long as drinking it all in. in. And we'll get like a note to you. That's how do I interact? I want to interact with stuff. I feel like I. I don't know. Push all the buttons. Hurry. I'm gonna hit, hit yes. escape a lot. Really, really worth it being here in the room. <laughs> a room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. <laughs> God, that's some real snark. What a snarky man. Okay, let's. Is this the way you came eager in? Eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay. Oh, that's this okay, one. Okay. I feel like the narrator is getting a little annoyed. I'm gonna listen to him. That looks like a warehouse. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. I feel. Don't do it yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, yeah. We have yeah. to get like a weapon or something. I don't know. Yes. Yes. Meeting room. Yet there was not a single person here either. Tips for not Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. There's a ball up inside you. We're <laughs> 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 not supporting you more. Uh, this is brilliant. Yeah. You oh, slice two shirtless things. That's great. Oh. That's a slick blue graphic. Yeah. Throw some bevel on all that text. I love bevel. Oh, which one do we look like? We're like the one on the left. I think we're the. 
I think with the redhead with the green shirt. Oh, I love redheads with green shirts. I do too. I like. It's a great. I'm so attracted palette. to them. Yeah. Dude, like I love like it's not, I'm I, so am I. It's nothing to do with the fact that my mother's a redhead. Good. Good. I agree. We're we're going to the boss's office. Yeah, the boss's. <laughs> that's that's what it's called. That's the broom club. Maybe you can get a broom and. Oh, we don't know open door. My problems. <laughs> okay, first I need. Okay, first I need to find hands. I think. Well, he was using his hands earlier. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. There's nothing outside. Look, it's empty. It's the rapture. I'm so scared. There's gonna be like a bad guy. Or a dinosaur. Oh, I would not scared of dinosaurs. If a dinosaur wants to kill me, I will let it. Look, this is a very fancy office. I think that he, let's, yeah, he probably did his co-worker. Did him? Like, fucked him? Or yeah. killed him? Both. Which order? Well, the ones he liked okay, he probably banged. And then killed. The, and then killed. The ones he just didn't want to get in their pants, he just killed. Yeah. That's how I would do it. Yeah. Well, that's why nobody's here. That's a no <laughs> <laughs> the boss ran out of people. Oh, look at this office. Dude, this is like, this is, um, this is some, uh, Beauty and the Beast. Oh, she, right? The library. Yeah, the library. That is a great moment in that movie. It is. I mean, I, but have you ever thought, um, no. what books they are? Because it's kind of early. And there's not like, you know, dime store novels. Like, what books are they? Yeah, they're all like Middle Eastern philosophy books. I bet they are. And everybody, that's why like these hold up, because people are like, you're, you're learning the devil's religion. Okay. That makes me feel better then. Yeah. The beast like, is worldly. He's like, no, just the Buddha. And then, uh. Um, he's a Buddhist? I mean, he was. Beast the Buddhist? I love it. <laughs> Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Not even. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. Okay, I'll but remember course, that and we'll Stanley figure out how to use it. couldn't possibly have known this. Oh, maybe you just type it. 284. Oh, oh! Now I have hands! I oh, gained hands! Yay, this is like evolving. 284. Four, six. Five. Oh, Stanley Johnson you. Right. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Oh, that's not the passageway. Oh, it's Where's somewhere the passageway? Else. Where the hell? Oh, yeah, that's that's definitely a passageway. Where? Oh, there. Oh, oh this giant, like giant ass thing. What are girl? you talking about? <laughs> The whole time. <laughs> I've seen that before. Look at pads of. I thought, I thought there was a leg for a second. Oh, that would be too scary. That would be like some Dexter shit. Have you seen Dexter? Do you think that you could handle Dexter? Do you not care for for blood and stuff? I love blood, and I just don't like uh, Dexter. He looks pretentious. I'm just kidding. I have I mean, no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, that's that. That's clear. <laughs> right Dexter the pretentious. Go in that dark corner and okay. throw everything on the floor. She can like stand like right. Yeah. Like, if you're, like, oh, I, this is oh, spooky. I, I went to my boss's office and then nodded and just gonna stand here <laughs> and cry. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Where's the cry button? I need to know that. <laughs> yeah, that's what like video games don't have enough of. Not enough cry buttons. I don't. Okay, I won't talk about what I do. Cry. You just cry a lot? When I play video games, yeah. There's something juicy. Is it from like joy or just from boredom or uh, both. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so happy I'm bored. I'm so happy. This is the, the push the button. Oh, I will. But where's your hand? Oh shit. <gasps> this is cool. Yeah. No, really? look, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you win. <laughs> What is this stupid nonsense? This is dumb. It is dumb. Oh, don't knock the speaker until you try it. Building, Stanley realized he felt a bit this? peculiar. No, it it was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? 
This question would not go unanswered for long. Oh, is it my turn? Oh, no. You go. You go. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm too scared. Okay. You and you'll what? be, like, really mad at me because when I do games like this, I just spin around looking up and you'll get sick. I am the terrible girl gamer. It's true. <laughs> I don't believe it. I have to see it to do that. Yeah, well, you wait till it's... You mean, like, you just, like, look up and then you just, like... Yeah, yeah I've done, like, the last game I played on Terrible Girl like, Gamer, it was that. No. And I, was, I had to leave because I got myself so sick. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, like... You're just like, is this the objective for the video game? Well, it was like, it was a little harder, like, than this one, because I was like, how, I would have to, like, look and grab, and I don't know, it was too hard. Oh, was that that climbing thing? No, it was, uh, it was gone home, or coming home, or something, and I would throw papers on the floor, and I didn't know what I was doing. I never know what I'm doing, but it made me sick. <laughs> I'll just tell you that. Straight ahead what? The door that read, Mind Control Facility. Do it. You're gonna get your mind... Oh, which one? Whoa. The game will end though if you escape. <laughs> I know. I no. I think. I think that's purposely there just to be like, oh, you could escape. I don't know which. one. Come on, let's get our mind. Okay, what does that mean? It means we go in the mind control okay. facility. <laughs> Next time we'll play a uh, spin the bottle. So. <laughs> With you. Oh gosh, this is so scary! Don't fall off the ledge. Whoa. This is like, this is a, this is unnerving. It is unnerving. It's like nothingness. Push it. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Okay. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. All the TVs. Did he have the strength to find out? Oh, Stanley, you can do it. Is this, that's new. That is new. I think that's where we came, right? No, yeah, that's where we came, so uh, this is new. That's new. Well, let's continue down this, this, um... This reminds me of X-Men. This reminds me of The Wizard of Oz. Why? Which one? Well, I was like, thinking of the yellow brick road, except oh. it was not yellow or brick. Then um, it doesn't remind me of that at all. I, I was reminded of the ending of um, The Matrix 2. Oh, I hate The Matrix. All of them? All of them. No, the first one's good. The it's like good if you like lame things. I I do. I do <laughs> like lame things. Okay, then we're cool. <laughs> it's all good. There was a button. Yeah. It's a camera button. Oh shit. You're gonna get your mind control. Push it. My now mind. the monitors what? turned to life. Their true something. nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Oh. This game is deep. This game is deep as shit. He was in floor 27, right? Oh shit, that's a good memory. I guess I was thinking like 40. Yeah, he was 427. Fire? Is that going to be... This is fire. Oh gosh. We better push that. That's <laughs> so helpful. <laughs> <laughs> 427. I don't know if I'm. There you are. Oh, that's 472. I'm dyslexic. No, 420. Yeah. There's also a 427. Yeah, I just forgot how numbers work. I forgot where. Okay, wait uh, for it again. Th 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 that. I think it's that one. I think you're right. It totally was. It was. It totally you're good. God, you're like, you're still on top of memory and stuff. Yeah. Still this from you. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Did you push the button? I wasn't looking. I did, and then you're just like, this is Oh, you better go on the You know, the mind control line. No. He refused to believe it. No. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? I love this narrator. This narrator's great. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, 
Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I think the puzzles are coming. Lava. Oh, no. You I, burned I, your ass. I need a, I need a towel. <laughs> <I need> a <laughs> towel. <laughs> They're off, though, so can you just leave them off and leave? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do this like, oh, I got some lava on me. You got a towel. Oh, I thought the console's disabled. I like when the dot appears. It's guiding you better. Yeah, it's very helpful. Yeah. What's this? It's a door. But it's locked because it's red. Man. Is that right? Probably. Okay, yes, I learned something from you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I probably, I mean, definitely. Yeah. Okay, definitely. Whoa. Ooh, put some input in. Put some. <laughs> put your dick in it. Put your dick in it, girl. <laughs> girl, put your dick in it. <laughs> you see something that's idle? Put your dick, dick in it. it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I heard men like to do. Yeah, that's how all men talk. Put your dick in it! Put your dick in it! <laughs> he found a source of the room's power. He knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Oh, I put you on. But we're supposed to turn it off. But now you want to go against the narrator? That's a trick. This is a trick question? Yeah, I think if you turn it on, the mind control offness will be on. Off. No, the mind control. No, offness will be on. The mind control onness will be off. off. Yeah, so you gotta push on. <laughs> I don't. I don't trust. No, I think. I think he's going to put. This is my play. I feel like we've like we've like obeyed like this entire time, and now at the very end we're gonna be like, no, we gotta this push This is the end of the on. game. I don't. Maybe. I don't okay, know. You better push whatever you want. Wait. <laughs> ha! No. I'm the on. Okay. Ah. Ah. On. Okay. God damn it. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you oh, wanted? Shit. Control? I'm sorry, oh, push off. Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, I'm and sorry. leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm terrified. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA <laughs> identification, nuclear detonators are said to explode, eliminating the entire complex. Oh, I'm so sorry. Until detonation then, <laughs> say, uh, two minutes. Hurry, uh, this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You Duh, are the you star. Better. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. No! Talk about you. About me. Where we're we going. What all this means. I I barely know this is where amazing. To start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. Fuck. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Jesus. Other times, I get out of the here. office sink into the ground. Go to three. Find three. Everyone. They all There's five. Them. Or I let okay. it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. There was a four Watching you try and to make five. sense of everything. Maybe you have to put them to take back order? the control wrested away from you. Time. It's quite rich. Right. I almost hate to see it go. Because I see but three I'm sure on the screen. Whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? <gasps> These are precious additional seconds. Time doesn't. Ah! Really what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> what's the matter, Stanley? 
Is it that you have no idea where you're going or yes, what you're yes, supposed to be doing absolutely. right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? Oh, big red button. I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One oh. solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> oh god, he's laughing! Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge, it's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. So take a look at the clock. I'm sorry. I'm having more fun though. You have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big move is then you have run. No ending. I know. Just human being blown. It's shaking. Oh my god. Or will you let it go? Dude, this new this new choice. Yeah. Make it cut. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. You can't click it. Me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. <laughs> no! No, <laughs> <laughs> that end is never the end. No, this is part of the. This part of it. Is it? I'm so like mindfucked right now. I know. What? Well, right, turn around real quick. You're in. A, you're. We started over. But did did we? Did we really though? <laughs> plug plug the computer. <laughs> Okay, don't listen your turn. to me anymore. No, okay, no, your okay, turn. Okay, okay, okay. All right. See, this is what I do. No, 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 no. This okay. is great. No, okay, okay. That, 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 that was great. Okay. That's why they call me the terrible girl grandma. All of his co workers were gone. What could we it know, mean? We know. We're Stanley gonna decided to, to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. We ruined I ruined it, though. I'm sorry. I think. I think <laughs> Yeah, you when did. Stanley <laughs> came to a set of two open doors. He I entered the door and asked for life. I will. Short life. Well, listen, I will, then Yet we can get through this so fast. There was not a here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley <laughs> decided to go up to his boss's office. There's so much stuff in the way. <laughs> 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 I like, I like to see this in like real life where there's just like Coming a guy just like a sliding against Stanley every wall as he's trying to, to walk. <laughs> Sorry, everybody watching. I know this is not exciting. It was really exciting for a minute there. What is this angle? You just like love light fixtures. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> to his manager's office, okay. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. Shut up, we're that busy. Kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. That's amazing. Okay, we need this to go away. We got I gotta push No, the no. We okay. have to appreciate the new age music. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley yes. calmly but now we get to see the, the thing into happen. the opened passageway. Ooh. Okay, we are running now. We are not the corner. Not the corner. <laughs> running in the corner. This way. <laughs> Bang. This is like speed, Stanley Parable. Yeah, this is a speed run. This is a speed run until I destroy everything again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever listen to me. But here's the thing: we could also just go to us through. Where is that escape? Uh huh. We could just do that. That's but that would end. I, I really. Are don't you sure? I really doubt Stanley that. walked straight ahead through the large Let's door that read "Mind Control Facility." Do it. The 
Okay. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, like the truth smoke. was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. I trust him this time. But I do course, trust him. Of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. I'm on a fall with this thing. <laughs> The oh, lights rose really on an enormous room packed with television screens. Ah, I almost fell off. What horrible secret <laughs> that this place holds, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to oh, find out? But it's out cool to like, know what he's going to say and then you can watch the animations happen. Mm -hmm. I, I guess. This is like a great, this is a, God, what a great weird idea for a game. This is weird. It's weird. Now, it's weird. It's good and weird. Ah. Revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co workers. And then we were like. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. Yeah, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom we were before. Meant nothing. I don't know. <laughs> like, why, why else is it turned off? I don't know. Because that person died. Oh, that's a good reason. Yeah. It's a very good reason to not watch somebody anymore. Yeah. Boop. I don't even have to this look at it. This mind control it. facility. It was too <laughs> horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. I want to see if I can click on that under Salmon's control okay, all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Yes. That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Wabam. Wabam. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go for me, sir. Let's go. Let's push the right thing no. this time. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life I like is how, like, someone like, else's control. Like, Never. Kind of, like, the very it was unthinkable. Was oh, it, yeah, like just was it even so, possible? Yeah, slap, slap, slap. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind now, to the world? Now my question is, did he, he work here proof. his entire the heart life? Because that's what it seems yeah, like. Yeah, he just like push emotions. buttons on a computer keyboard. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very okay, place. Okay, sorry. And as the cold okay, reality of his past began to yeah, sink in, yeah, but like Stanley decided that this no, machinery would it. never yeah. again exert its terrible power I over think another with my human life. Upper brain. Your upper dick. What if it started us over? <laughs> yeah, it's like. Uh, We didn't even make it to the credits. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Oh. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? Oh, how had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No one would even tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Okay, okay. Or don't. Can I go somewhere else? Nope. Nope. I think. Beautiful. It is beautiful. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. <laughs> we won! <laughs> so it was a puzzle. We beat the game! <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand this. <laughs> this is why I wanted to play it. I like I've heard about this. Like it's just it's weird. 
It's, okay. it's Groundhogish Day, right? It is. It's like okay, so we have to push the. We want more to happen. Yeah. We have to I heard, push I heard the that, on that, that you can like you can just like stay here in this room for like for like half an hour and then like the narrator like loses his mind or something. Oh wow! Know. I don't think like, we have time for that. I don't either. But I would like to do basically, that. Basically, like like you know, there's like a bunch of like hidden branching paths and stuff that you can do. Well then, let's let's look around. You're good at like defining stuff. I am good. You're like good at the puzzles. I saw you working in, in, in limbo. Like limbo. I, was cr- I was crushing the puzzles. I was crushing the puzzles. This can't be that. I kept hard. shouting that at, at at Scott. It's like I'm good at puzzles. You were. And beat, you beat, were. beat. Yeah, it was amazing. So if we can, How if you could get to that, and Stand I'm like making you crazy, minutes, you could still get through days, it. Centuries. Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. That, that, that sounds new. That sounds new. Yeah. Uh. You better go in all the rooms. <laughs> Drag. Oh. Do they click though when you hit them? Oh, put the code in there. This is dumb. It is like, to get on the computer and hit it. <laughs> but there's no like letters. Oh, there's a little bit of letters on the keyboard. Okay, so like maybe it's just, I need to like find four other computers. Okay, okay. But have that. That was this thing. Is this the World Wide Web? That one looks older or newer. I can't tell which. Yeah. <laughs> they all look dumb. They all look dumb. I would never work with these computers. No, yeah, these are dumb. These are like Wally computers. <laughs> right? I don't want to touch Wally. I'd touch Wally. You would touch Wally. <laughs> I'd touch people. Wally's Willy, if you ah. know what I mean. Rah! I don't get it. Oh, I don't get it. You know, like the whale and the Wally. Oh, because Wally has a pet whale. Yeah, in the movie the I saw. Came to enslaved Willy. Yeah, enslaved Willy with the, yeah. Willy the, with the robot. Oh, I'm once again. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I want to touch that computer. I do too. I think that's a that's a thing that you have to do. Touch computer? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's important. But what do I know? I don't know anything. Yeah, you just like beat the game. And I say, beat the and, game. And save the office. Wow. I didn't save the office. Yes. I didn't save anybody. That's I saved myself. What a beautiful so room. <laughs> what a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without having experienced this room was now but like eager to get back to business. Stanley took the first open door on his duck left. On it. I jump. I jump on this and duck on. No. Look like you were uh, getting busy with it. Getting busy with that copier. Yeah. That's just the copier. You're really just having sex with yourself. Oh. Right. That Ooh. is amazing. What that's you a, just that's said. That's a deep. That's a deep motherfucking thought. Deep motherfucking thought. Have you been here? Yeah, we haven't been in this room. It's the drafting room. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. (laughs) (laughs) Can you grab a pencil? (laughs) Let me see. Nope. (laughs) I feel like I'm very short compared to this desk. Motherfucker. I'll get that next time. I, I turned off the volume, but like I had an alarm set so I don't oversleep. Because, you know, like on the regular weekdays. So oh, do you have a key card? I, that's it. It's like, it's like Resident Evil. Yeah, if I just ask you questions, do you think it'll work? <laughs> Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. 
There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Mm. I think we're doing the right thing now. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. She's a ghost. Go in there. Oh, it's so dark in that room. <laughs> I hope you can ride that thing. Ah! I bet she's. I in don't there. trust this room. I don't either. Oh! oh. That's oh. her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. But it's closed now. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? <laughs> they their life to you. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Oh, God. This is so fucking weird, dude. It's so this is like, this, <laughs> this subtlety, it? because it's like a different font. Uh -huh. You know, but it's like, I'm back in my cubicle, like what's going on? You're in an apartment, <laughs> but it, not really. Right, an apartment number with the same thing as a cubicle. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Good morning, employee. Press in on your keyboard. Okay. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Six. <laughs> Look at him there, pushing buttons. Oh, that's like Doing what you did exactly your job. what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. But in his mind, ah, pretty nice body, though. in his mind, yeah, he can go on fantastic adventures. Weird in the groin From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Okay. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The Where's thought the TV? excited him terribly. Yeah, I feel like I hit eight and it disappeared. Spend time with the boys. Do it! <laughs> so he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. But that's the new. last choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Yeah, prepare that dinner. Let's prepare that dinner. As he wandered through oh. this Oh no, it's turning back into my office. to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. <laughs> and down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Tell your kids a story? What? It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived he it title, again. Though. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path. Mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Ah. Oh. You, you push it. Tell your wife you love her. I but love there you. is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the Mondays. same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. 
The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. After going to sleep. Yeah, let's go to and hell I'm asleep. I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world, he can never be anything but an observer, that as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Oh, that's... It's also kind of clever, because, like, they use the zero, but you can be like, is that an O? Is that a zero? Yeah. So there's, like, two layers of, like, confusion. Oh. Oh, God. What do I... Should we push it? Should we not push it? I think we should... Well, I... The game's telling us to push a button, and then the narrator's like, don't push the don't button. Don't push it. Push zero. But what But what if it's actually asking to put, be pushed the zero, not the O? Oh, push what? F. Should we, <laughs> should we do zero? Yeah. You see, can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? <laughs> oh my god that's such a brilliant thing it is brilliant this is like so great oh my god <laughs> push it I don't know what to do we gotta start over I don't know what to do anymore I'm really confused too I suppose I can't not in the way I want him to but I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. Oh, God. Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. <laughs> <laughs> this, is so this is so weird. It's like you're stuck, yo. I think only you can figure this out. My turn. Your turn. Go for it. You know what? We never went down that escape path. Okay, let's do it. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had yeah. simply missed a memo. Yeah. Ah! You were truly lost. <laughs> Wait, this is hard. On accident. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I need this cup. I hate Mondays. I wish we could like pick more things up. I know, right? That's okay. Cause then we just have a lot of crab in our hands. Mm. Crab hands. Did I go this? Where are we now? Is this new? I don't remember this. I don't remember this at all. Wait. No, I don't remember this at all. This is. There has not been. There, there hasn't been like a lot of branching paths. Like. No. Like this is that, new. He isn't telling. Okay, wait. And the door won't open. Will any of the drawers open? No. I don't remember this hallway. We gotta keep going through it. There. Well, I thought it was secret and special. Okay, we'll go left. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. That is kind of cool, because like, I feel both of us were like, wait, no, was that hallway there the whole time, and we just didn't notice? I feel like, I feel like that yeah, was different. Was not a single it was here. different. It was different. I love that that game is making me feel this. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Oh, this is amazing. You might find an answer there. This, is, this game is also hilarious. It's really funny, and I am just running into walls. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah. Come into a staircase. Drag your body against all the walls. <laughs> 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 I would, can I turn this pipe? No. Nope. Turn the pipe? What does that mean? Why did I say that? God. <laughs> but let's look at his computer real quick. Yeah. Oh. Wait, I gotta go around this way. <laughs> Let me see if Click I can. On it. Where would be that door? What door? Oh, that one? Yeah. Yeah. It looks like it's like built to open. Oh, you are good. Oh, wait a second. No, back up. Look at this. <laughs> How many do we work for? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does it say? I don't think it's I don't, 
<laughs> we went to the right place. <laughs> that was good. That was that. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my god. It's not dead yet. It's just being threatened. Up or down? I guess I'm. I, I, I couldn't really pick. It didn't give me the dot. But the narrator's not talking, and I'm very nervous. Yeah. I hope we don't shoot into space and I die again. <laughs> We're going really far up. <laughs> it's true. Can I push a button again? Oh, okay, there we go. The what? same place! <laughs> okay, there's that, and then look at this one. Yeah! Up. Oh. Okay, well, that was great. That was a good detour. Yeah. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Oh. <laughs> I'm so glad I have to push those buttons again. You know, I'm busy. No, that was a... <laughs> this game's so fucking weird. I know, I'm like so tripped out. <laughs> I feel like this is like a game that I would like show somebody that doesn't play video games to be like, you want to see how like weird and creative it can get? Yeah. Like, but here, try like, this. I just thought it was Mario. I just thought it was shooting guns. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind so Control you think we should go Facility. Escape? Yeah, dude. Like, okay. that's... Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, that's right. the truth that's right. was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. I think we're gonna never get to the end of this hall. Uh -oh. What do you think? The oh, door no. behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Oh. oh what the hell? Oh, no, what? Oh, God. <laughs> Can I, should I keep going? Look, well, look down before you jump. It's glass, isn't it? The glass? I don't know. Is that, no, it's a hole in the ground. Should I turn around? <laughs> no, you should jump down it. Okay. Ah! <laughs> That's it! <laughs> <laughs> well, he was right about that one. God damn it. Not... What? Whoa! Push around. As the machine whirred into motion, Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. Oh, I don't even get to fall to my death. No consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. Trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he designed and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. There was Stanley. That's where we have to look. Ah! Oh, wait. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Well, I died. No, you didn't. Because I ducked, right? <gasps> oh! There's. Okay, okay, okay. Get out of my way, boxes! Okay, okay. My bones aren't crushed. I can it's still walk. All, always a plus. <gasps> it's. The stairs. Wait, I can't see anything. Should I go forward? Keep going for it. Like... And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Well, each time we do something new, I think that's... That's an accomplishment. Yeah. Oh, this looks beautiful. It does. I'm in a pretty... Place. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Okay. So these are the actual credits for the game. This is how they did the credits. Uh -huh. That's amazing. Um, I want to see um, as a narrator. Kevin Brighting. I don't know that name. 
Um, I don't either. So I look, look, look over here. I think this is like a, is this like um, like like a testing lab. Like this is where you were you were in. Maybe and, like the map. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Yeah. So here's the two doors. Set of two doors open. Set of two open doors was the very first concrete piece of the San Gabriel's design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it. An exploration of the contradiction this room posed. Interesting. Oh. This is the. This is a really interesting. Like now we're like very meta. This is like the developer's room of the game yeah. inside the game. The off. What? Like the different types of doors or whatever? It's so hard to walk when you're dumb. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, you know, do you know, like, the rest of, like, like, like... Do I know controls? Do you know controls? Yes. Buttons I just don't... Wait. Wait. Clean, clean this up. Get closer to it so I can read it. Selection of the sound. Sorry. The sounds used throughout the game when buttons are pressed. Each sound is a mix of keyboard <laughs> stroke and a synthesized tone. Try hitting those buttons. Okay. Oh. Okay. It's four. Oh. Wait, there's a room over there. Let's be right for a minute. Oh. We're not really playing the game, are we? No, we totally are. <laughs> this is definitely part of the game. It's you think weird, it is? Like, in some weird fucking way. Okay. It's one okay. of the weirdest things I've seen in video games. I don't even know. But here we go. This is a museum of the development of the Stanley Parable inside the its own game. This is the puzzle. How wait a second. Okay, wait, so like... Okay, wait, I'll go back. Wait, is this... Is it... Oh, development. Okay. So, okay. this is what we have. Like, these are the... Okay. I was wondering if we could, like, get to those. If it's possible to, so like... <laughs> okay, how do you jump? I, I don't think you can jump. I could duck, though. I, I thought duck. duck was smart. No, it's the control. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there's outside. Wait, that's just a picture of outside. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> but this seems like we're getting deeper into something. Yeah. Actually, now it takes. <gasps> Record a dog for the entire game roughly three separate times over the two years of development. These are clips from early takes that were not used in the final game. Oh, I don't know. How about they're throwing a surprise party for him for all his button pushing? Does that sound plausible to you? I don't know. We gotta keep exploring this space. We do. We gotta find like a button. I don't think there's anything else in this room. I don't either. I just wanted to go into the dark corners and cry again. That's <laughs> what I do. <laughs> it's <laughs> hard. <laughs> Work up your, the stairs. Well, Stanley's a little out of shape. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's just been sitting pushing buttons. Yeah, you know? he's just a little. Okay, did we go up this way? Oh, wait, sure. let's look at this clock. Office, office clock. clock. Okay. I don't know why that's so hilarious. Is this funny? I don't know what I'm doing. Freedom, freedom ending. So we, okay. This is the very first incarnation of the freedom ending in the game's alpha, which we've achieved. Okay. Okay. You go up and down. Man. Mm. Maybe we can get a clue of, like, if we push... The on button. You get a clue of how to fix that. I don't know. Wait, fix what? Well, turn like fit. Do the um, the puzzle like turn off the machine once we turn it back on. Do you think there'd be a clue in here? Is there a way of hmm? Yeah, like is there a way of, of like solve like hitting on and like fixing it still? I don't know. I don't think we should go in there. No, we should. Wait, what? Which one? What, what, what is what is? This is our office. We need to go to the to the plaque. To the plaque. It's just, it's like the. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> just much right to evolution. Interesting. Okay. So, like, subtle differences. So, if we go into this So, one, this is like the final iteration of the office. We can't get it there. Okay. No. Well, all right. So, we're kind of. Okay. okay. So, now the question is, like, how do we get out of here? Right. I, I think we've got. Wait. Oh. More endings for your endings, more narrators. Ooh. More Stanley, less Stanley. More Stanley, I think. Yeah. Am I going crazy? It was just the same image. Was that clocked there before? I don't remember. How do I go back? Can you check for me? <laughs> <sighs> I don't know. The point of the Stanley parable is to lose. Okay. The point, the point is to win. 
This is so good. Oh, this is like, it should be the Stanley Paradox. Oh. oh. We have to rename this. Yeah, the Stanley. Oh, here's this is War Zone. We haven't seen anything called the War Zone. Wait, you decided an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens? <laughs> The action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which is not our intention. Aww. Huh. There's Tron that... over there. <laughs> I don't know. I love the way you walk. It's like, it, doesn't this make you dizzy? It makes totally me dizzy. Does. Jesus. I'm not really a fan of how I do it, but it, I can't oh, help it. Ah! <laughs> oh my I'm god! A little heavy-handed. <laughs> okay, how do we get out of here? We need to okay, figure out how to we get need to like here. kill ourselves or win. And I don't. Know, let's see. I want the paper. Uh, yeah, because I'm Stanley the pervert. I feel like okay, okay, we're in this room. We came from up there, but the door's gone. I think so, or is it just hidden? It's just like locked. Let's look, because I think if we go back up there, nothing will happen. Yep, no door. Yeah, no door. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, no, we need to get out of here. <laughs> so we'll if we don't barf first, <laughs> I'm stuck on the stairs. <laughs> Jesus. Filing <laughs> oh. cabinets. We'll open, you <laughs> bastards. They're all smug. Uh, Look at all those smoke falling cabinets. Okay, did we go? Oh. Oh. Hello. So what? Okay, so the only things we can interact with are the computers and the buttons. I feel like there was like in this way there was like oh, a, 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 a white door that we could go through. This way. Yeah. Okay. I will follow your lead. Up them stairs. Up the damn stairs. I think, I think it's to the left. This here. way. That was yeah, like, oh, another door? Oh, those are windows. Are there windows? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Damn. When I play Stanley, he's like a moron. He's like an elegant swan when mm -hmm. you play him. Do we go in here? <laughs> what, is the, what is the narrator emails? Where's those? After the second trailer we sent out, so we asked people to email the narrator for questions. I intentionally planned to use this for promotional materials. We never found the perfect use for them. Here's a selection of the emails. Weird. Oh, they're up there. We don't have time for this. No, we gotta like die or live. We need to live or die, and I just wait. Er, we went down that way. We didn't go down there. We go up this way. No, I mean we we, we I think we did. Oh, we did. Which way did we? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Da down the stairs and to the left. Down the stairs and to the left. Down to the left. Oh, okay. There's a phone. There's a, oh. Perfect timing. It's counting down. I'm gonna push the phone. Will it show us a different ending? It just counts. So weird. I'm so confused. Okay, down, yeah, so this is, okay, this is a new space. New space, okay, let's look. Should go straighter. Let, let, let's look at this, this looks helpful. It does. Vent. Option, there's four, okay. Option one, doorway to maintenance. Three doors. Oh wait, this is just the different designs of the maintenance unit, not like all the options. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. I'm pretty dizzy. Meeting <laughs> 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 room. Clipboard. I just want to watch your mind work while I... Wait, this is just stuff from the meeting room. So this Those are windows. What is it? I want to get right since I look at it. Do you the signs? Simplest, okay. But they wouldn't put us in here if we couldn't get back, right? Right? Yeah, no, that'd be like insane. Yeah. Lovers! Oh, shit. Zending? I don't know, oh, the zen ending? I describe what color they pulled. Can you pull them? No. No. Well, that's crazy. Okay, so we didn't get to there. No. The Zending model. 
The game is now paused. To begin the game again and resume the game. Hey, that looks like a... That looks like you maybe interact with it. Yeah. That'd be crazy, but we'll see. Screen radio. Oh, maybe it not. had an ending that only ended with... I don't know. That seems like it wants us to do something. No. Okay. This is a little bad. Okay, so we haven't been... Ooh, an exit yes, sign. Yes, we have. There we go. Hooray. Okay, okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. So she's the ultimate narrator. I don't like these weird rooms with the black and the night and the... Can you see? Can no. you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now. It'll be your only true choice. Escape to press choose quit. it. Don't let... I feel like I don't, I'm gonna die. But I feel like we're on like a continuous line of things that happen. What if we start over and start everything over? But I don't think so. Because like we read that thing, we, 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 we saw that thing where it was like we had like a game menu where like it was like it only works when you hit like whatever. But yeah. Can't, oh, there's should, begin the game again and quit the menu. Okay, there's two. We can't begin the game. Wait, you could. But you're not saying quit the menu. You're saying the only way to finish is to quit the it's a weird thing. I, I, this game is so clever it is. that if this game told me the only way is to hit escape right now and hit quit to menu, uh -huh. I, they've planned for somebody doing that. It's yeah. not going to like okay. restart. Okay. God, I hope. I sure hope so. That, that that would like that would be a bummer, right? It would be a. We'd have to just go home. Yeah. Well, we do have to soon anyway. Okay. But. Okay, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I feel so empty. <laughs> Push begin the game. So I feel so it. empty inside. Is it the same thing? I feel as empty as Stanley I'm right now. I'm dead. I died. This skip, is the skip story it. of a man named Stanley. Stanley. <laughs> No. no. <laughs> do we like? Do we lose all progress? I don't know. Do we even make progress? I don't know. We had like things change, but I don't know if we made progress. I don't know. Like, is there progress? Like, like I we didn't beat the game. I know. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. P. You can't click on that. Can you listen to a message? <laughs> Should we? Maybe we should go to the boss's office and see what it says. Should we play this anymore? I think we lost forever. I feel like that's such, such like a downer, but kind of beautiful. Uh, yeah, ending. and like this is the futility of life. Piece. Yeah, like I don't want to like touch it again. Yeah, I think we, I think we did the best we could. Oh. <laughs> So are these, would you say that these are puzzles or just mind fucks? These are mind fucks. Oh, okay. That's which are a lot harder to make than puzzles. Yes, and that's the, that's the amazing part. Is okay, just... should, do we want to not touch this again and like try something else? Let's do the one you wanted to do. This is the one I wanted to do. No, the, the Nidhogg one. Yeah, Nidhogg's fun. Um, <laughs> do we have all the equipment for it? Oh, go girl, I got the equipment. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Um, 
What do you think of this game? I think it's amazing, and I would throw my computer out the window if I had it on my computer. <laughs> this is this game is incredible. It's amazing. Yeah, I've never played anything like this. No, I haven't either. But it's like I'm so confused right now. I know. I don't even want to live my life. <laughs> I feel like truly like 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 everything I've done is futile, and I feel like the hopelessness of existence. I feel like Stanley. But it feels beautiful. It they does. made the. The hopelessness of existence feel beautiful. Yeah. I, um, comedy, we're both involved in comedy, and we both recognize um, that comedy can be difficult. Yes. Uh, comedy takes some, some fucking skill. Yeah. Um, it take, it's especially difficult in video games. It is hard for a video game to be truly funny. This, this is game. this game is really funny it's in a very funny. unique way. In a very dark. In a very dark way. Stanley stood for a long time in one spot. It's part of a game. He likes to see how long he can go without dying. So far, he's doing excellent. And if he just stays right where he is, I'm sure he'll keep up that good momentum. Let's observe the genius at work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we're so, on. That's so scathing. <laughs> So are we like progressing? Are we not progressing? Is it possible to progress? I don't, I don't think know. so. Can you, it, it, they say endings, not yeah. They, they, they're, they're victories. There are multiple endings. I feel like we got like the the easy the, the the happy one, which is like you've gotten to this like green field and everything's good. You're happy. But there was no skill required in that. Right. That's there why wasn't. I did that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's true. But, uh, you know, you walked down that hallway. That took some skill. It took some guts. It did, and I ducked. And I feel ducked. like that was a good instinct. And you were like, oh, and we were like, oh, yeah, that's why the duck is there. It's the yeah. only reason that it's there for this moment. Yeah. Um, God. <laughs> I'm so thrown for loop. Okay, we need to, yes, let's, we're not going to touch this again. Okay. I think that was such a, a beautifully set, sad, empty ending. <laughs> Now what do we do? <laughs> when do we do? When does the show finish? Four o'clock. So we okay. have. We could like end at three fifty. So they have time to like set up and stuff. Okay. But half an hour we can. <sighs> yeah, I just want to make sure we have. Could have had that. This is what I was looking for the whole time. Oh. Uh, Full caption. I feel like. I what if this did something in the game? I feel what like we could like, go what, a little bit further. Yeah, like I don't, I don't feel comfortable like, just like clicking this up. Okay. No. What if we like got rid of this and then it came back up? Like that would be a. Oh, that would be scary gonna, as hell. That, that would be legitimately. Okay. Let's 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 just peek a little bit more. Okay. All of his coworkers were. Wait, no, this isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? <gasps> yeah, so... Wait, so, go back. So, 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 so I, I, I was, like, quitting and resuming. Oh, I'm sorry, microphone. Quitting the game? Like, I think, yeah, they did plan for it. Like, like the yeah. dialogue's different. We didn't lose any progress! Yay! But it looked like there was some instructions on that yellow board right there. Down here? Yeah. No, it was just a... Okay. It looked like stuff. a computer or something. Who <laughs> farted? Who farted? God, that... That is weirdly tacky for this game. <laughs> it is. This is supposed to be classy. Come on. Is there more color? I don't know. I feel like... I have no idea what's real and what's not right now. I, like, I don't remember like, seeing like... The, the, the purple the, cups. The, the purple cups. There's like that green phone. Like this... God. I don't remember seeing that phone. I don't remember any phones. Yeah. Like, but like I the could color. Be wrong. Jesus Christ, Stanley, apparently. I don't, I don't trust this. I think we need to figure out the boss's office. Yeah. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Wait a second. <laughs> I, I. I just remember, like, we went through it and we didn't see that hallway again with, like, the blinds, the Venetian You're blinds. You're right. <sighs> This is so creepy. 
Are these new? No, they're always been true. Okay. But that light is bright. I don't know, I'm just being stupid. Do not, ooh. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Hire somebody to fire the paper synergizing guy. Wait, wait. Hire someone to synergize papers. Papers are too synergized. Fire paper guy. Hire somebody to fire the paper. Oh. <laughs> Move my death. Move my death. Please keep the targets off time. And it's all blue. So ah. weird. Get Chris out of the broom <laughs> closet. I think we better find Chris. <laughs> yeah. This is, this, is a, this is a number of slides on this slide. Uh. You know, this is a good game to play with somebody else because they yeah. can talk it out. Yeah, like yeah. So, so I, I'd heard a little bit about this game, so I this, this is why I figured it would be this yeah. would be a good game for us. Yeah. Check out. There's the broom closet. Oh! Oh snap! There's a broom. I'm afraid to go in here. Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! <laughs> Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned know? around and got back on track. See, that's saying something. There's gotta be. Maybe not. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. So, no I feel like he's too insistent. Here. I know. I, I feel like, no, like I can throw a rope around this pipe. But we're not that skilled. <laughs> Hang ourselves. <laughs> uh, was still just but, sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Sweet fuck off. Oh my god. Are you, are you really still in Yes! <laughs> standing around doing nothing? Yeah, well, I am. Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. I feel like there's something in here. I feel you like do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is <laughs> no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. I don't know, narrator. You're an un no, unreliable maybe narrator. To you, this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was a <laughs> great. I hope your friends find this closet. <laughs> I, I, I think this is the point. Yeah. He probably really got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. <laughs> Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's just for uh, it's just an excuse well, for like the narrator to go off. Definite conclusion about what's going on right now. Oh no! You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical melody of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Oh, no. Well, in a situation like this. The responsible thing is to alert someone nearby oh, so as to ensure dead. that your body is taken yeah. care of okay. before it begins to decompose. Not Stanley. Hello, anyone who happens to be nearby, the person <laughs> on this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place <laughs> at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game <laughs> mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming Ooh. so that the irony and insightful <laughs> commentary of this game is not lost on them. Oh, God. Oh, All right. God. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. I, think I don't know. I, no, think I, 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 I think it's the end. At the end of the, the uh, of, of this bit. Okay. Almost I seems, agree. It almost seems mean to call it a bit. Yeah. <laughs> a bit. Yeah. All right. I guess that was just a fun little. That was pretty great. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do any worse than the person who <laughs> Oh shit! Oh goodness. 
Wait, we to a staircase, standing we we've always gone upstairs. To his boss's we never even thought about going downstairs. I don't even remember there being a downstairs. I don't remember there being a door here. We've never been downstairs. I don't. I hope it's not fire and death. I oh. But girl. then again, I hope it is. Oh, fingers crossed for something. Like a little, you could dance homeless on that. Man, yeah, homeless man could sleep on that. Oh. Or a person with a home. A car. It's a very tight parking job. It got really quiet. Wait, no, that doesn't make any sense. For the car to park there, so you can't enter it. Domo. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, yeah. maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. Mm. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. What? For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? <laughs> why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? <laughs> And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? Oh my God. Then Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! He yelled. Dreaming, this is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh shit. Oh my God. God. <laughs> what the? Space on a magical star field and it too appeared. What? And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. What? How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating <laughs> everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me Thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And when he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Oh no. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. No. It's all I want. You can't give it to I want my family. apartment and my wife and my job all I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. He's afraid it's gonna end killing myself in the car or something. Oh, no. <laughs> Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss, I have an office, I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real, I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? 
And everything went black. Whoa. Jeez. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What the fuck? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled oh, through God. town talking and screaming to himself, and then Mariella collapsed dead, dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy <laughs> people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm glad we kept going. Oh, my God. I'm so glad. The end is never the end. It yeah. It's never the end. It's never the end. Well. I feel like there's more. <laughs> there's got to be more. There's got to be more, but, like, that was... That was amazing. The when I started floating, yeah. holy shit. Yeah. One of the stars. <laughs> I want everybody to play this. I think so. If you want I like, to I like, I like it. Oh, boy. <laughs> Good God, girl. <laughs> like, what are we... <laughs> I think we should go back to the boss's office. Okay, you go back to the boss's office. Okay, get ready to be sick, everyone. <laughs> Wait. Okay, I yeah. just had to check something out. Okay, you we're good. to make sure that it wasn't different? Yeah. How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? I centuries? Did something crucial oh, happen can. while my senses were turned? See, and I don't like it when it repeats itself because we think we haven't made any progress. <laughs> say my be my valentine ah <laughs> oh, look at that leaf that's nice ah! oh my god sorry i've just had a ba major mind when fuck when stanley came and... to a set of two open doors he entered the door on his left and i can't run straight now stanley's crazy yet there was not a single person here uh, uh... <laughs> a wave of disbelief Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, just, hoping like, he might there. find an still answer there. there. Yeah. Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I have to try that door every time. <laughs> Someday it'll, it'll open. I don't know. Should I go in there again? No. We're I, just, gonna, I, I, love that, I love that panda with the gun <laughs> to the Here's the door. Just go. Thank you. <laughs> And I'm like, what else can we do down here? Like, we have like the hit, hit on, hit off, and then like go down the escape tunnel. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay, so we know what happens in escape. We know what happens uh -oh. this. We know what happens with off. Stanley walked straight okay, ahead through the know. large door that read mind control. So you know, facility. things could change in a minute. Oh, woo! Thanks for following us! <laughs> I was like, what is that noise? Oh my god! Lox Fox, or whatever that name was, like, you you just made us, you just mind fucked us. The sound I was of you so scared. following us. I was so freaked out. I thought it was like a new layer. I was like, what's game. wooing? <laughs> Oh, man. I was freaked out for a minute. What horrible there. secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Yes. I don't know. This, okay. I think there's not gonna be anything different. And if I that's the, and if that's the case, I think we should we should now do the, the happy ending. Jump to life. Their and true just, nature revealed. I didn't play Nidhogg. Each bore okay. the number of an employee in the building. 
Stan is co But it's like the story the is so rich of so here. Many individuals it is. To images on like, the screen and Stan I don't know what else to... Uh, I, it's 3.35. Okay. So it's like, I'm, I'm not sure where else to go, you know? I'm, I mean, sh I'm, I'm sure there are places to go, but have you been watching this? Say this? thank you to Locke's Fake for following. Locke's, Locke's uh, Fake? Locke's, Locke's Fake. Fox. Locke's Fake. Locks fake. Thank you for following us. Uh, you, I, I did say that he, he kind of mind, or he or she mind fucked us. We were, we were scared, and now we're okay. Because we thought this noise was part of the game. This is with his boring job, one of the craziest games I've ever played. Really. I heard you guys yelling that, so I wasn't watching, but I could hear it. <laughs> no, it's this game is amazing. That's cool. Yeah, I think it was independently made by like one dude. Yep, or like a group, oh. a small group, small group. Remember this? No. Story? He refused Wee. to believe. He couldn't accept she has, no. she, She's really good at PC controls. <laughs> control. Except I am. Like, I'm terrible Never. with, like... It was unthinkable. She played a lot of World of Warcraft. Wasn't it? Yeah, was it I even possible? Know. Had he He's truly still? spent his entire life utterly it. blind to the like, world? I don't, I don't I'm afraid, do this. I'm afraid to touch World of Warcraft. You should be. Because, you know, because it, no, it, 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 not just because it's intimidating, but it seems, honestly, it Controls seems like the crack of the new games. It is. It's, it's like, but I love crack. How much are you paying a month? Walking, 15 bucks a month. Eating, working. All of it monitored That's and commanded from this very place. One game. And as the cold reality yeah, of his just past, but one game. Game. it is like the game. Stanley like, decided that this machine all you would need. never again yeah. exert its like terrible power, power over another yeah. human life. That has war for he that. would dismantle the controls once I'm going to push everything before all. I go in there. I don't think it's going to do anything when you go in there. I don't know. It's darker in here. Or it was always dark in here. I thought it was from buttons. See that? Oh, I heard a boop. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. That's what I wish this game was. There's boops? Closing yeah, so far third. this game has been really underwhelming. Oh, God. It's been really disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most... <laughs> Crazy. I feel like, and I'm not like the most sane person in the world, <laughs> so for a crazy person to play this, it's like shocking. <laughs> a video game that understands me. And no, that wants me to like go into the hospital or something. Oh wait, have we been here? Yeah, that's where you came from. Is it? Yes. Well, that's lame. I... See, this is why I am bad at life and video games. I don't know where I am or Sorry. where I'm going. Oh, no, you're better alive at video games. Better, because I, I don't, I don't ever know where I am. <laughs> okay, we're gonna just get the hell out of here. <laughs> and when at last he found the sword. <laughs> <laughs> chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Uh, oh, we had to do yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled oh. himself from someone oh, yeah. else's command. <laughs> Freedom was mere moments oh. away. <sighs> and yet, even as the immense door I feel like I feel like I feel like that Stanley moment of like having us float and like the stars and everything. I feel like that was like a nice, that was a, nice. A, a nice cap. It was a nice cap, yeah. yeah. I feel good. I feel like we've uh, delved deep into the insane consciousness of man. <laughs> He and um, none of this uh, we've come out alive. We've come out alive. I mean, it was a rough journey. Um, it was it was a fruitless journey. Ooh, for real this time. It really was. Boy, when we when we quit, and we were like, did we lose everything? Did we lose anything? Like that really truly felt like a fruitless journey. Yeah, God. I think this game is the epitome of, fruitless of a fruitless journey, and that's why you named it. It was we didn't realize it. You know, it was up it until this, this moment, and I'm sorry I killed Stan Scott at this point. Through the open. He would have loved this. He would have been like, I wish, I wish I'm Scott sorry was here. I didn't kill him. I mean, I did kill but, him. That was terrible. I'm so, either way, I'm sorry. Either way, I'm sorry I that may Scott or may not have skilled cop. Skilled cop. Scott. Skilled cop. <laughs> oh, sorry. No. Oh. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his and, skull. Um, 
feeling of liberation. I'm sure that we haven't seen everything that this game has to offer. Not at all. But this was exactly the but way. It's tiring. But, but right I, now, yeah, it's tiring. I feel like uh, I feel like we absolutely Stanley. understand what the Stanley Parable is, though. Yes. Like we totally get it. We do get it, and it's amazing. All right. So are we done? I, I feel it. like I have nothing left to give after this journey. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what a fruitless one! Yeah. Oh my god. Um, well, here's the thing, uh, Dylan. So yeah. it's it's three forty. Yeah. Should should we like jump into like a thing of Nidhogg or just call it? We call it. Okay, let's call it. Great. Um, okay. Well, I don't know how to get my mouse back over here. Well, bam. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well. Go for it. Well, everybody, thank you so much for uh, joining us on this journey of us checking out the Stanley Parable. Um, Dylan's blocking me. It's very upsetting. Oh, we didn't add it. Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead, do it. Guys, uh, my name is Tito. Uh, I run this show uh, every Sunday with Scott Brown. Uh, he is gone doing Father's Day stuff, but filling in was Janae. Hi, and you can see why they call me the terrible girl. Oh gender. my god, this is so much fun. I'm so glad that you joined me. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, Stanley Parable was fantastic. Uh, Check it out for so yourself. Good. Even if you saw us play it, play it yourself. That's video out. That's fantastic. Um, yeah, so every single Sunday uh, we do this part of Color Circuit. Uh, yeah, I don't have a sheet in front of me to list down all the places that you can find. Uh, we have a bunch of shows. On Color Circuit. Uh, all the links are right there. All, all the links, links are on the thing. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, shows every day, original content. Coming up in just a, f a little bit. What time? Five? 20 minutes. 20 minutes uh, is screen source. Yep. Uh, Sit down and pound God damn it. Uh, I need Scott. I wish you didn't <laughs> kill Scott. I'm sorry. I killed He's the Scott. one that does this part. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, do you want to say anything, producer? Are you good? Okay. That was super fun. Uh, thank you so much for joining me, Jeanette. Anything that you want to say? Give me a second. Okay, I'm good. No, I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, I had great. a great time. I'm really confused by life right now, but yeah, I'm good. So, uh, I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, thanks so much for joining us, guys. We'll see you next Sunday on Color Circuit. For this journey.